Hi, this is Love Desiree. And Radio. Hi, this is Desiree, and welcome to my Blog Talk Radio show segment for April 24th, 2018. I thank you for those who are ten, um, attending this right now, and I appreciate you being here, and I hope that you're having a great day, and I hope that the rest of your day will be blessed. For those of you who will not actually be able to attend the call or to um, listen to the show right now at this time, um, the show will still be available, and I will also have that on YouTube. And when I have all of, uh, when I have the Blog Talk Radio show completed, and when I have completed my YouTube video portion, I will blog and I will let all of you guys know so that you can listen to it later. Because I know a lot of people are at work. Um, I know when you look at the when you come to Blog Talk Radio Show, um, one of the things that you'll see is that my um, website has actually changed on Blog Talk, and I actually have mental health, wellness, and support listed on there. And um, that is going to be the platform that I will be keeping there. Um, I strongly believe that having your own business is a part of being healthy. And when I say that, um, I listen to a lot of people say that, you know, I'm no longer able to work or, you know, I have an injury that I'm not able to work anymore. Um, I don't know any way that I can actually generate an income or anything. Um, So a lot of times people are feeling, you know, hopeless and as if they don't have um, anything else that they're able to do. So one of the things that I'm here to tell you is that there are other things that you can do. You can actually have a home-based business. Um, that business will be successful based on how well you actually um, are working at doing that. You don't have to start off with anything that's going to cost you a lot of uh, money. Your business can be um, just a simple Avon startup, or as we're going to be talking about today, my personal favorite is Fifth Avenue um, Collection Jewelry. And one of the reasons that I like Fifth Avenue Collection Jewelry is because I've had that website and I've been a part of them for five years plus, and I paid one startup cost at the beginning. I have never had to repay for that website over and over again monthly, as some companies will make you do. They'll make you pay a monthly fee, and if you can't pay that monthly fee, then your website goes away, and your website, as all of us who um, are entrepreneurs or are business owners, your website is how you get your clients to come back, and that's how they purchase. That's how you make your income. So it's important. Um, The other thing is, is that some companies make you, um, sell a certain amount of you know product each month to be able to stay active with them and to be able to be a part um, of the company. Fifth Avenue Collection Jewelry does not do any of that. Um, so you you will keep that website once you pay your startup costs. Um, you will you know um, hopefully you will get your actual um, hosting items as well and your items that you can sell because you pay your package deal whichever package that you choose to be a part of, and you start selling your products. Um, I started selling Fifth Avenue Collection five years ago, and I can tell you that I paid for my um, package deal. Um, I got my jewelry. I got to select, you know, there were jewelry that they sent out to you. I got to select my jewelry, um, and they came in beautiful boxes. And so the first thing I did is um, I went out to a restaurant. I was out actually in um, Great Lakes, Illinois, and I had my boxes of jewelry, and, you know, the boxes just attracted some of the waitresses. And so they came over and they were asking me, you know, about it. And so, I, you know, I showed them the jewelry right there in the restaurant. Well, I can tell you that I had just gotten my kit, and I made two sales by that alone. And so, you know, you make your commissions and you sell with Fifth Avenue Jewelry Collection. And so it has always been my favorite because sometimes, you know, life happens to us, and that's a part of You know, this show being, you know, I'm going to always keep this geared towards mental wellness, you know, support, and that comes in many, many fashions, but life happens to us, and sometimes that will affect um, our jobs, our careers, and what we're doing at the time. And so, you know, sometimes you're going through a divorce, and you may not be able to promote that business at that time because you're not, you know, you, you don't have the state of mind to be able to be successful at that time. And that's one of the reasons that I really love Fifth Avenue Jewelry Collection because, I, you know, I actually went through divorce, 
And, you know, I wasn't able to maintain my, you know, business as I was able to, you know, before divorce. And so it allowed me to be able to take that time and to be able to get through whatever was going on in my life at that time and still come back to my website. My website was still functioning. You know, I still had sales from the website because I have different avenues that, you know, I advertise and I market with. And so those were still being, you know, they were still working even, you know, when I was not actually able to be um, actually there. So I believe that a home business can be the answer for a lot of people, and you can choose what you want that to be. It's up to you. Um, For anybody that's interested in actually joining Fifth Avenue Collection, um, I have posted um, information in my Facebook for, you know, you to be able to join. I also have a blog that you can do. Um, And one of the things that I'm going to be doing, um, and I always do, is I work with my team members. And so I work one-on-one with you, and I show you some of the things that have worked for me um, to actually be able to build your business. Now, this is help from me, but you need to actually be able to do the work, and you need to be able to understand, and you need to be motivated to want to learn the tools that can help you and to be able to promote your business. Because you can have a website, And if no one ever sees that website, then you will never, ever um, probably make a very good profit on that. And that's where marketing and advertising comes in. Um, Having a home-based business, it's not a get-rich overnight scheme, and I don't think anybody that's really um, been career-minded, people that are really successful, CEOs, um, I'm pretty sure that they had to put in some legwork before they got to where they are. And so that's what you're going to have to do with your business. There are baby steps in the beginning, and so you will learn tools, and as time grows on, you will grow your clientele and you will grow your business, and you'll do that by actually being consistent with what you're doing. So your marketing and your advertising, it needs to be on a daily basis. you know. So, um, And if you're not able to do that, there are some things that you can have in place Um, that maybe if you can't get to it every day that, you know, it still works for you. But I want to make it clear that you're um, successful based on your efforts and your consistency. Okay, and so with that said, um, Fifth Avenue Collection, that's a jewelry business. Um, We are called Jewelry Stylists. We actually do have um, a personalized website that you actually will get whenever you sign up. Um, to be a Fifth Avenue um, jewelry stylist, and you will be hosting parties, and hopefully you will be hosting online, and you will be using different methods to actually have um, your business be successful for you. As I said before, you have a startup cost. You, there's, you know, if you're going to invest in anything, you need to be investing in yourself. Um, so you there you will have to purchase your kit, your jewelry, um, so that you can set up for your party. Because um, in order to get people to be interested, you either are going to be selling through your catalog, or you're going to be actually you know being able to showcase the jewelry that you have. And some of the best parties that I have gone to, and the ones that I have actually purchased from, have been the ones that are able to actually set up their actual. Um, showcase of their jewelry and of their items and your business cards. And, you know, that shows your level of commitment when you're able to do that. And if you want to do catalogs, you know, some people are better with catalogs, that's fine as well. But once you actually purchase your showcase there, that's and you get your website, there's no monthly requirement for you to sell. There's, you don't have to get team members. You don't have to do any of that. All you have to do is just maintain your website, advertise it, get people to come to your home parties or your online parties or get them to your website, and you know have them buy from your website. If you choose to actually have a team or to build a team, then I'm going to always be here to help you to be able to do that. I'm a real person. I am online. I've been branding online for a very long time. Um, I've been branding online since 2009. 
and so I know a lot of different things. I've seen a lot of um, I've seen a lot of direct sales companies come and go, and I have chosen to stay with one that has. Um, has stood the test of time, and I'm talking about years. And there are many others that are out there that um, people trust. And if you can um, get into one of those companies and, and you can stay, those are the ones that I would choose. Um, in marketing and advertising, there are a lot of things that will tell you, okay, you put up this link and you're going to be guaranteed to make this amount of money in this amount of time. Well, that's only based on the clientele that you already have a lot of times and people that are willing to buy your product because they see that you are somebody that if you're advertising a product, you've used the product, you've done your research, so you're giving some, them good information about something to be able to utilize. Um, Fifth Avenue Jewelry Collection is a company that stood the test of time. Um, I don't have a problem with marketing them or you know having people interested in um, being a part of it. If you are interested in joining, then you can email me or you can go to um, the Fifth Avenue um, jury page on Facebook. I'm going to um, be posting everything that I go over um, in the show today and the different websites and everything. I'll have that posted um, on my blog, and um, I've got a couple things here that are located on my blog talk radio show, so you, you should be able to see that. Um, information and you should be able to get to me if you actually are interested in joining. Um, the other thing that I wanted to also talk about is um, advertising. That's going to be pretty much your marketing, your advertising is going to be how it's going to really tell you how successful you are going to be and those efforts that you make. So um, I'm advertising on Facebook and on YouTube and um, I'm going to be using my Blog Talk Radio show. I love Blog Talk Radio. I think it's really um, I think it's a great platform along with a lot of other different social platforms that we have. Um, I'm going to use Facebook and I'm going to use YouTube. And the thing that I will be doing for my team members that um, join up for Fifth Avenue Collection Jewelry, um, I'm going to be featuring their websites on the page on Facebook and also on YouTube. And so basically how that works is that I will pick out um, advertisers to utilize it as they come through, and we'll advertise and we'll talk about the business. What I'm hoping for um, from my teammates is that you will actually send me little blurbs about you. And if you're, you know, if you do have a blog that's set up or you do have a website um, that's set up, I'd like to hear about that because um, your clients, your customers, um, as you grow um, bigger in your business. They need to know that you are a real person and that you are dedicated to um, making your business successful. And so if you do decide that you want to take on team members, then they should be able to see that, okay, these are the tools that you have in place and that you're willing to work with them, and then that will grow your team. Typically, um, also what I like to do, and I think I said this from the beginning, but I'll say it again, I like to do my blog talk radio show first, so I will um, get ready for the blog talk radio show. I will um, let you guys know when those segments are coming out, and then as soon as I finish the blog talk radio show, then I go ahead and I switch over to um, my YouTube channel, and I go ahead, and the same information basically that I am giving to you guys, I'm also giving it on um uh, that I'm giving to you on Blog Talk, I'm going to do it on YouTube as well. And so it will be in both places. And the um, great thing about Facebook and YouTube, they reach a lot of different people. And so you you will see that people will start to connect. They will start to follow you. And one of the things that you need to understand about people following you, if they are following you and they have a business, you know, visit their page, visit their blog, you know, leave them a positive, you know, comment, Try to be a part of their shows, and that's how you grow your audience and your clientele as well. Because you're going to have to network, so you don't want to go to you don't want to just um, advertise your business to you know on blogs or you know on different websites, and you're not actually you know giving any um, great comments back to um, those folks that are on Facebook, that are on YouTube, those entrepreneurs that are blogging and doing this on a consistent basis, you know. So we need to support each other, and so the way you support is, you know, in my opinion, is through um, networking. Um, 
I'm going to also be looking for co-hosts for Blog Talk Radio, like what I'm doing right now. Um, typically what I've done in the past, those of you who remember me from, I still have Rich and Rich Home Opportunities and Rich and Rich Entrepreneurs, and so I like to also feature other businesses that are not doing direct sales because we've got people that are writing books. We have authors, so I've had authors um, on my Blog Talk Radio show, and they have um, gone over their book. You can actually look back at some previous episodes, and I know Ada Young's um, information is still posted up there, and I have a couple of other members that have actually been on um, the radio show um, promoting their books. And so that's what I, you know, I would like to have from team members of Fifth Avenue Jewelry Collection. I'd like you guys to actually, you know, come on and be co-host, and maybe your topic is um, maybe how your home party might have went or how your online party went or the things that you have put in place to get your business started up. Or, you know, we can have a question-answer session about um, different marketing, what's been working, what's not working, how we can tweak things. And then um, I'm going to use my Fifth Avenue uh, collection jury folks, and I'm hoping that you guys will be co-hosts. But I also want to um, say that for my other entrepreneurs that are out there, you know, if you are on um, Facebook and you're on my pages for, like, co-op advertising, rich and rich entrepreneurs or rich and rich home opportunities, I, you know, I'd like for you to be co-hosts too um, to talk about your product because as business owners – and as we um, move into um, building a bigger network, we, you know, we need to be um, talking with one another. We need to be finding out about what's working for other people, and um, we need to be getting ideals. We need to be always open to change and always open to making our websites, making our business better. Um, I am a firm believer in marketing online, but I like offline as well, and we're going to be talking about some of those offline activities that we can be doing also. So um, by the end of this presentation or by the end of my show, what I'm hoping for is I'm hoping that uh, for the next show I will be featuring some of my team members from Fifth Avenue um, Collection Jewelry and their websites, and I'm also hoping that a lot of you will Try to actually, if you don't have a blog up and running now, I'm kind of hoping that you will have a blog up and running in about a week, and I can help you out with that and get you set up, and we'll talk about that platform here shortly. Okay, so I started blogging a long time ago, too, probably about 2009, and I liked, I started off with Blogger. That was the platform that I first started off with. Um, I like Blogger. Um, it's easy. It's free. You can set up a blog, you know, about a topic of interest and the way you maintain that blog and you build um, you build an audience is by posting. So you basically post to your blog. And there's a lot of different ways you can post to your blog. You can go, you know, you can log into your blog once it's created. And you can create it right there on the computer. Um, if you have email, you can set your blog. As I know in Blogger you can set it up, in most blogs, you can set it up to where you can post directly um, from your email. Um, WordPress has um, platforms where you can actually um, do a voice posting, uh, meaning that you can talk, you know, do like what I'm doing right now, um, talk about what you're going to be blogging about, and then, you know, you can post it that way. Um, to your blog. So a lot of different ways to post, and you want to always make sure it's your content. Don't use anybody else's content. You're going to obviously be explaining about your product or a certain product in your product line or maybe a certain way that you're advertising and you want to tell us about that. Um, but make sure that it's yours and what you're doing because that's that will make your visitors come back again and again because they can actually see what you're um, utilizing, and they can actually apply it to themselves. Um, blogging makes your business more personable, and your clients begin to get a sense of who you are, as I said in the beginning, and if you're truly working your business daily. You need to work your business daily. If you want it to be successful, if you want it to grow, then you need to work it on a daily basis. Um, I like to um, put my um, business cards everywhere, pamphlets, inappropriate places, handing out a business card, you know, inappropriate places. 
And also, one thing that I also like about blogging, and I use, like I said, I use Blogger and I use WordPress. Those are the ones that I kind of started off with, and so those are the ones that are most important to me. And so I like the fact that you can um, use Google AdSense, and you can kind of monitor the type of ads that you will have on your site. So it's basically another way um, of making income for yourself. And so if you're doing your blog and you're posting content, those ads will build about they will build based on the content that you have on that blog. And so that's really, really nice. And I'm not going to go into a lot of different other things that I do for Google AdSense, but I will say that I also like to use Google AdWords to help to get more um, clients from all over the world to the blog and to um, the website. And that's um, some other things that I'll talk about later um, when I have different segments for, like, when we really are talking about um, other avenues of advertising, but I want to just focus mainly on Fifth Avenue Collection Jewelry. And so I have a blog for Fifth Avenue Collection Jewelry on Blogger. Um, and I have what I like to do with mine is I have my contact information that's on the blog. So you can contact um, contact me through there and, you know, and have your questions answered or, you know, leave a comment to the blog. I moder- I And you, when you do set up a blog, make sure you put your comments to where you want to moderate them. You don't want... You don't want comments appearing on your blog without you first looking at what people are writing and look at those links. If you choose to let them put their link there, look and examine those links. Make sure that they, you know, they are appropriate links geared towards your if you're trying to be an entrepreneur based on, you know, whatever area that you're doing, just make sure that they're appropriate before you post them on your blog because remember, your blog, your website, that's going to be your presence and it's going to talk about your professionalism. And if you have things on your blog or on your website that are not very professional or they're a little bit questionable, then um, you probably won't get people to come and revisit the blog or to want to follow you. And so you want to be careful about that. Uh, Let's see. Um, Let's see. I'm going to be setting up blogs for members on my team. Um, that have joined Fifth Avenue Collection. So once you you know you've joined and you're confirmed, and you know Fifth Avenue Collection Jewelry will um, let me know that. Then um, what I would like to do, hopefully you know you guys will have already emailed me, and so I will know that you know all of this stuff that's going on, and we will have had a conversation about um, what do we want to do next, and you know how would you know what's the best way to follow up. I want to do that. I did this um, a couple of years ago. There was a company that we had that was called Iggly Bigly. It's no longer in existence anymore. But one thing that made it very, very successful, it would have been very successful. It it was a flip-flop business, and I'm not exactly sure why it didn't continue on. I mean, I got the flip-flops. They were beautiful, you know, because I ordered myself because they were beautiful, and I still have you know, some of that posted on my websites because even though they're not in existence anymore, I think that their concepts were very good. And so it's it's still dear to my heart because it's one of the first ones that I started out with. But um, but when I was a part of Iggly Bigly, for people that joined my team, what I did is we used Weebly. And Weebly is a blogging platform that you can make into a website as well. So you can blog, but it, it's a pretty website. And so what I would do for my team members for Weebly, for those who were under me, and I know some people, they don't know about blogging or anything like that, I was able to set up your blog for you initially, and then you, you know, maintain your blog. And so that's something that I'm going to do for my team members for Fifth Avenue Collection. I'm going to go back to that because that worked really, really well, you know, especially for people that, you know, you're not used to blog, you know, setting up a blog totally. I will get it set up um, for you. And the reason that we have the blog, I want to make it very clear about a blog and the website or whatever. It does not take the place of your Fifth Avenue Collection jewelry site. What it does is it it's an enhancement to it, and I will I'm going to be doing a couple of those today, some Weebly blogs, and um, I have mine already, and so I will probably do my very very best to base most of your blogs 
on that Weebly website and kind of set it up to where you have um, different topics on there, but the main topic is the blog part of it and to be going on there and post kind of what you're doing for the day. Um, when I first started off blogging and, you know, they would talk about original content, and I'm like, oh, where do you get all this original content? Well, as a, you know, as a starting entrepreneur, that was my blog. I would blog about what I was doing for the day, what my plans were, um, what I had already, maybe you end up the day with your blog and you put down, you know, how the day went, you know, talking about your business or anything like that. That's your original content. It's from you. I mean, I can talk to you about what's going on in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and, you know, the person that's got a, you know, a business over in New York can tell you what's going on in New York. Maybe they, you know, went to Times Square and they passed out business cards or whatever. But the main thing is that the content is original, so you always have content. As long as, you know, you know, you have breath in your body and you wake up and, you know, the Lord has blessed us that way, then you've got something that you can blog about every day because you are already unique. So the unique content will be coming from you. And so that's what we're going to be doing. So we're going to, I'm going to do that with the Weebly, and I will have that. I already have one set up, and so I will be talking about that, and that will be part of the information that I include um, at the end. And so what I will do is I have most of all of this written up already, and so I will have it posted so that everybody can see it and you can know actually where do you go for the information and, you know, Sometimes people are more visual. I'm a visual person. I like to see things. It's very hard for me just to sit there and listen and, you know, absorb the information. If I can read it, then it's better for me. So that's what we'll be doing. Okay, so business cards, pamphlets, brochures. I use Vistaprint. I don't know if you've ever heard it or anything like that, but that's what I utilize. And so I have a resource page that's on my Rich and Rich Home Opportunities blog that lists all these different platforms. But I use Vistaprint because I can order. Vistaprint's been around for a very long time as well. You can order your business cards fairly cheaply. You can get like 500, and you know you pass them out, and you want to continue to get your um, your business card so that you can pass them out. Um, I have a brochure for um, Rich and Rich Home Opportunities. And that's what I completed, you know, on Vistaprint. And I've had these, I've had um, my business cards, my pamphlets, my brochures have been on Vistaprint. And you always save a copy of what you're doing to your computer and always have yourself an external hard drive. And we'll talk about those things of what that is so that, you know, if something should happen, you know, if Vistaprint were to go away or if Blogger went away, you always want to have your content because if they do go away, there will be another platform. There will be something else that you can utilize to make sure that you are advertising yourself. So that's going to be continuous. It's just the fact that technology changes and there are improvements. So just make sure you always have your content saved for yourself somewhere so that you always have access to it. And, make you know, if you want to make yourself a little file so that you have that, and so I like Vistaprint, and that's what I utilize. Um, and when you go on Vistaprint, you can see the different type of business cards. I like the fact that you can actually design them, and so I can put my logo on there or I can put a picture of, you know, jewelry or, you know, something that makes it nice. Um, maybe on the back you have your blog or, you know, something that you want them to also be able to see, and you can have that blog and it's all set up and you've been posting on it and keeping it up to date, and people can see what you've been doing. Um, I like to put my business cards, like I say, everywhere that I can, and that's something that you need to do. Um, there was an Avon consultant or representative a couple of years back. She lost her job. Her and her husband, they didn't really know what they were going to do. She decided to become an Avon representative. And one of the things that she did and she attributed her success to is her business cards. She put her business cards everywhere, and she used to have a blog. She had a blog, and I don't know if her blog is still in existence because I haven't looked at it for a couple of years. And she listed out all the different places where she put her business cards. And you will really be surprised where you can put your business cards. So when you say, I say that you can get 500 business cards from Vistaprint, that might seem like a whole lot, but if you're following patterns of doing this every day, 500 business cards is really not a lot. 
And so you can't do this just one time. It needs to be something that you're consistently doing. Now, the pamphlets and the brochures are a little bit more costly, and so those, I like to give those out when I actually say I have a team meeting, you know, offline and I'm going somewhere and I'm networking. I like to have the brochures for that time because the brochures can get more in-depth with, you know, the different things that you offer and, you know, for me, why would you want to advertise on my blog? Well, you'd want to advertise on my blog because I'm constantly marketing and advertising. So you have something else to help you with your marketing and your advertising. And so that's good to print. And so that's what um, I utilize. So that's something that you'll see on the website, and that will be posted for you to be able to um, follow up on that. Okay. And then I already talked about um, advertising your website by participating in um, other blogs and commenting useful information and being able to um, leave, you know, a link. Um, and then also just being, you know, getting – I want. I really want to stress this. Get involved and be a part of, you know, other business owners' websites and visit their blogs and, you know, leave helpful, con- you know, comments for them. Um, I have advertising slots on all of my blogs under Rich and Rich Home Opportunities. Um, so I have that available to everyone that wants to utilize that. And so that's basically your link. And I don't put every, I don't put advertise everything because there are some businesses that I, I know that people support them, but, you know, I will look at your business and I will see, you know, if that's something that, you know, I want to advertise because I get very leery of um, pill selling. I really don't care for those as much. And um, some some of the other types of um, uh, multi-level marketing, I guess you will say, where you got a fly-by-night, you know, company that says it's going to do all of these different um, things for your business and you pay into it and you get other people to, you know, think that their advertising is going to continue on and then business is gone in like a year and your money is gone with it. So I just I, I won't do that. And I've been doing this long enough that I know the ones that have been around and that are still around, and so those are the ones that I will lean toward, not something that, you know, I know that there are some new ideals that will come and that, you know, they will be viable ideals, but before it goes on the website or anything like that or in any advertising slots, it needs to be something that actually is something worthy to be up there. Okay, so for Fifth Avenue Jewelry Collection, we want to start, we want to host parties. You want to have, you know, a home party. That's one of the, I I love home parties. I already said that one of the best um, showcases I ever went to and I purchased jewelry. I love jewelry. That's my thing anyway. That's why I, I became a Fifth Avenue jewelry collection. It's just I love jewelry. Um, and the showcase at the party was awesome. And this particular showcase was, um, uh, you know, the person had all their jewelry. They had po- purchased um not the biggest um, showcase kit that they could have, but one of the things that over time they created an even bigger showcase because, you know, they ordered, you know, they placed it as part of their showcase. And so the amount of jewelry that they had that was available just for you to come in home and purchase, they had things that you could purchase right then and there. And so, you know, I don't know about anybody else, but when you have something there and I like it, I'm probably more um, apt to buy right then and there if I see it and you have it available. And so that's building up a showcase over time. And and it's not something that um, is hard to do. It's just something that's done with consistency. And so when your jewelry is depleted, then you would have to, you know, get more of it or, you know, sell through your website and, you know. But basically having that showcase shows what Fifth Avenue Collection Jewelry has to offer. And they have wonderful pieces. If you go to the Blog Talk Radio Show segment for today, I've got a slideshow up there of the pieces that they have. And, I mean, that's just that's just a small sampling of what they have available. And um, so you can see that, uh, and I think home parties are great. And so if you're going to do a home party or whatever, I am happy to assist you with that. If you're here in the Milwaukee area, Milwaukee, Wisconsin area, 
or surrounding areas because that's where I am physically. And so if you wanted to do a home party and you needed some help or you wanted to get started with it, that's something that I can help with because over the years I've done done several of those. And the other thing I like about offline marketing, because for me, I really didn't want to do the cleanup in my home after, you know, hosting a party or anything like that. And so I would actually rent out spaces, and I've done that before, and I've had my party at spaces, um, different places. There are trade shows that if you want to go to a trade show and you have your, you know, your showcase and you want to, you know, have what you have to offer and, you know, have people to be able to, you know, know your website and be able to purchase, you can do trade shows. But, you know, there are many different avenues for offline um, parties that you can do. And also um, some of the libraries, if you are doing like a team or a presentation, you know, you can actually have members to actually or prospects, people that you think are interested in the business and you've advertised it, um, some libraries will actually let you have a session where you can actually do, you know, that teaching and that um, that part. And I did that a couple of times at libraries, and that works out really nice because people actually get to – it's a safe place for people to come and see a real person and then for them to make a decision, you know, on whether or not they want to continue on um, with that business idea. And then the other thing, too, is be supportive – of other businesses and other opportunities that are out there because, you know, I love Fifth Avenue collection jewelry. I know that everybody probably, um, jewelry may not be the thing that you would like to do, but I encourage you to at least look into if you, especially if you're not working, if you're not feeling that, you know, if you're feeling um, not motivated, you know, look into, you know, a home-based business. And if you feel free to ask me, you know, what I think about some of them because there I know a lot about a lot of them, especially um, in the direct sales arena and the ones that have been around tried and true. I mean, we've got Avon. It's been around for a while, and there are some ladies that do wonderful with Avon. We've got Mary Kay. That's been around um, for years. Fifth Avenue Jewelry Collection, they have been around. They, they, the product has been out there, and it's you know, a, you know, it's a name that's known, and so you can trust that. Okay, that's something that's been around for a while, and so I have a tendency to lean towards those um, businesses a little bit more. Um, Stay-at-home moms, you know, doing um, work-at-home mom websites. They have a lot of different wonderful websites, and you know, a lot of times they will let you post. Um, your link, you know, and you pay a monthly cost or whatever, you know, to be able to do that. But they um, they do a lot, you know. We've got um, Cafe Moms. They've been around for a while. And, you know, it's nice to go and look in their community to see, you know, what's going on. And, um, and there's different platforms, social platforms that you can um, actually do a lot of things with. All right, so you're done with, so now we've done the offline marketing and you've decided um, to have your first party, wherever that party is going to be at, um, whether you're here in Milwaukee or you're in New York or you're in Atlanta, wherever you're going to be doing your home party and you're going to be successful, I know that. And so you do that. Okay, so maybe you just don't want to do a home party. And maybe you want to reach more people by doing something online. And so online parties are awesome as well. Um, you reach more people from across, uh, more than just your local geographical area, and so that's important. And so you can have a party online. A lot of people utilize Facebook to do their home parties. Um, you basically have people um, go to your link. Facebook parties, however, you have to be careful because they do have rules about um, your Facebook, you know, about these parties and how well you can actually publicize the party and uh, sometimes can um, be important because, you know, you can be banned off of, the, off of Facebook, and so you don't want to um, do anything like, you know, do anything that would get you banned. So the, you can do parties. It's not that you can't do them, but there are certain parameters that you've got to do those parties, and so that's one of the things. Um, for that, and so um, so we do an online party. So I would prefer, 
in the future for myself personally um, to do my online parties off of Facebook. And so I'm looking into a couple of different platforms to be able to actually do online parties that are not on Facebook. They're actually um, by invite only, and so that's how you do it. Because one thing about Facebook is you people tend to want to send everything to their friends, and you, all of your friends may not want to know about what it is that you're doing. So you need to be careful, and that's one of the ways that people get in trouble on Facebook. So... Um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm looking at online platforms off of Facebook um, to actually do online parties. And as I get that, as I get one that I really like and I really um, trust, I'll let you guys know about it. But for right now, you know, we are utilizing um, for online parties, we are using uh, Facebook. Um, we're going to actually be utilizing, um, to some extent, uh, YouTube just to get the information out about um, the parties and also um, Block Talk Radio and Skype me. We're going to utilize those platforms as well. But I really would like to try to be off of Facebook as much as possible and have it be um, something that's online for our team members, for us to be able to invite those that we know and those are the people that will show up and, you know, giving it a real online party atmosphere but with a home aspect. To it as well. So, as I come up with that, and I'm sure I will within the next couple of weeks, because I'm already looking at a couple of platforms, then I will let you guys um, know that by my blog and Facebook. And so, um, right now, the other thing we're going to flip over to is just a little bit about um, where do you go from here. So, now you've listened to the program. And you've had a you know a chance to listen to um, Fifth Avenue Jewelry Collection. I encourage you to go to um, Fifth Avenue Collection Jewelry to a website and just kind of look and see what kind of you know jewelry is being offered. You are always available, you know, or able to go to any of my Facebook pages and see kind of what I'm doing. And for uh, my blog today, I actually started off. Very good because having my show, I like to, whenever I do a blog talk radio show or I do a YouTube show, and I'm sure that many of us who have been successful with doing it, you actually have an outline and you have some topics of things that you will be going over. And so what I did, I said, well, I'm going to have my topics and I'll have my outline of everything that I'm going to talk about. But I also filled in most of what I'm already have explain to you on the Blog Talk radio show. And the good thing about that is because I've taken the time out to already write that, you can email this to yourself, you can text it to yourself, whatever makes you feel most comfortable. And um, there's my blog post for the day. It's, you know, it's done, it's completed. And so basically what I have um, actually been able to do, because um, advertising on Facebook, YouTube, and Blogger, it might seem overwhelming for people. But really, you just take it in small steps. And so I have my Blog Talk radio show completed after I'm off with you listeners today, and I really appreciate you guys joining. I can post now in Blogger about everything that we've talked about because I've already done my outline and I've enhance that outline to actually include everything that I talked to you about, and I can put it on there, and I can make some tweaks here and there for that. So my blog post is done. And then as soon as I get off the phone, I am going to be going on to my YouTube show, and I will be having this on the YouTube channel, and so then that will be available for people to actually see and uh, make decisions as well. And so this will be something, and as it has been for a very long time for me, it's very doable for you to do. And you just take small items that you can utilize and that you think that will be helpful to you and something that you can do consistently. And so I like blogging probably the best because I think that blogging for the you know newcomer is a wonderful way to start out. And, you know, you can test different products and you can – monetize your blog, and when I say monetize your blog, 
you can put ads on it that, you know, will generate you income. I like Google AdSense. That's just the one I've been using for years. And Google AdWords, you know, to actually advertise. I've used them for years, and so I know that, you know, you actually get quality um, visitors to your site because you have to be very careful about that, too. There are sometimes when you think that you are um, posting your website or your blog to a lot of different people and that you're getting all these wonderful clicks but nothing's happening, well, you have to be careful that they're actually actually doing the actual um, broadcasting of your information. And so um, I just trust Google AdSense and Google AdWords. Um, I like the advertising with Google AdSense because you can tailor it to your page. But Google AdWords, you know, I've actually gotten clients and people um, through those clicks. And so then that's more important to me that I can actually see that what I'm advertising is actually and what I'm paying for is actually being completed. And so that's a good thing. And at this time, this is a time in the show where I would have questions, um, question answer session for you to be able to, you know, ask questions. Some people do not like to um, ask their questions, you know, online or over the phone or whatever. They they would like to post their questions, and I will have those, and you are able to do that. On the Blog Talk Radio Show page, there is a you know there is a page for a part for you to be able to make um, your comments. You are always welcome to visit Facebook and to also be able to look at those comments as well, and you know put any any other comments or any questions that you have about your um, your experience, how you think the Fifth Avenue Collection Jewelry. Um, presentation on Blog Talk, you know, Blog Talk Radio Show was for you today. You can do that. And then um, I was going to talk about a couple of other things uh, for doing the Blog Talk Radio Show. Whenever um, I get ready to do a presentation or whatever, I go ahead and, you know, you, I guess when they say dress for success, yes, you can sit at home in your pajamas, and yes, you can do your business at home in your pajamas. You, Drink your coffee. You can look like whatever you want to look like. You can you can do all those great things, and I I have done it myself. And so, especially blog talk radio show, no one's really seeing me right now. So, you know, it it really doesn't matter. So, um, but for me, it matters um, differently as you get more professional and as you do this a little bit more, and as this becomes you know your way of doing business, it's your way of branding yourself. So, what I like to do is I actually get ready for my blog talk radio show just as if I was going to be doing a YouTube segment. And so I'm already dressed, ready for success, so that I can get off of blog talk radio and I can do my YouTube, you know, um, without any um, problems or anything like that. I don't have to worry about trying to go find anything because I've already done all of that. And so that just goes back to, you know, you take little steps, and it might seem like you're doing a whole lot, but if you can do it in an organized, somewhat organized fashion, then you can get a lot of things done. And so I'm prepared for the YouTube um, segment. Um, for Rich and Rich Entrepreneurs and Rich and Rich Home Opportunities, because I know I have a lot of my listeners that you guys follow me uh, for that, I will be, you know, I always update my content, but I will continue to update you guys also. And I've got a couple of things that I will be posting um, on Facebook for Rich and Rich Home Opportunities and all the different little sites and everything. So that's going to be, that's kind of my, that's my business setup for today. And then also for those of you who do have your business cards, um, I would say that try to get out today and try to get you know, put those business cards someplace today so that you can have at least, you know, a little part of that completed. And if you do have your blog already set up, um, I'm just thinking of some topics off the top of my head that can possibly, be a, you know, possibly be a part of your blog today. And one of them is that, you know, you came by Blog Talk Radio Show and you did that, and maybe you do go do your business cards, and maybe you do go take a look at Blogger, if you want to, you know, start up a blog there, or maybe you look at WordPress and you think about, 
you know, doing a WordPress blog or, you know, you look take a look at Weebly. You know, those are all online for you to freely look at. I will have the links to the ones that I personally have and, you know, kind of what I've done with mine so you can see that I'm not, you know, I'm not just telling you things. I'm actually utilizing the tools that I'm actually talking to you about. So I know how effective they can be. And one of the things about having your blog and, you know, I've made sales and it's not, I don't, you sometimes you don't always know where the sale comes from immediately, but it's nice when you wake up and you've gotten a sale from your website or, you know, maybe you've earned, you know, based on your blogging and your content, you've earned some money, you know, without actually, you know, talking to someone face-to-face, I guess I should say. So some marketers will say, you know, making money in your sleep. And, you know, you can actually, I mean, that can actually be done with your blog and with your website. You hope that, you know, whatever you are doing to market and advertise them, it's, it's getting people to your website, getting them to purchase your product. That's what we're here for. We actually would like to actually make an income. And I know that, that for some people it may not be as quick as you would like for it to be. But consistency will help you, and you will be able to look back, and you'll be able to say, I'm grateful that I started when I started and that I put these in, these little tools into place. And there are a lot of things now with our social media, and I'm sure there's going to be even more technology. There are going to be different things that you're going to be able to do. Um, there's a lot of different things and a lot of different platforms, even over the next couple of months that I will be utilizing, and you guys will be able to see that as you come back and you visit, you know, different websites of mine. But um, that platform, it's changing, and so there are going to be different things that you're going to be seeing and that you're going to be able to utilize, you know, for growing your business. And that's going to be the same thing that I'm going to be doing, so I will be in the same boat as everybody else, just a little bit further along because I've been doing it for a little bit, you know, longer. But the thing I was going to say is that a lot of your programs that you join, Fifth Avenue, um, Jury Collection, um, you have, I mean, I'm, you've got people that actually want to help you to be successful with it. And so in order for you to be successful with it, you have to be able to, you have to be able to go to those team calls. You know, look at it as a day in the office. You know, sometimes when you go to the office, there's a meeting you got to go to. Yeah, you don't want to always go to the meeting, but that's how you get information. And so if you can go to your team meetings and you can go to your social network and you can see what other people are doing, that's what that will help you to be able to continue your business and continue to be motivated. So I am going to go ahead and just kind of summarize at this point about Fifth Avenue Jury Collection. I hope that I will have a lot of you um, joining. Um, I hope that many of you are thinking about a home-based business and what you would like to do in that. I will be posting like um, Avenue Jury Collection information on YouTube, so that will be the focus of the YouTube um, session for today. Um, I will be blogging about um, everything that we talked about. That will be available on my blog so that you will be able to look at that and review at your leisure. If you missed this blog talk radio session at this time, no worries. It is available to you, and I will make sure that when I blog that I make that segment available on the blog so that you can just go to it. You can just link up to it, and you'll be able to um, get on the blog talk radio show, and you can listen to it whenever you feel like listening to it as many times as you feel like um, listening to it, that will be posted. And then um, I'll have those Weebly sites. I already have the one Weebly site um, together. I'm going to take a look at a couple of other things to put, but that will all be on that blog so that you can read it and you can actually see it and put hands, you know, if you want to click on the links and kind of review and um, leave comments or ask um, questions. You can feel free to email me. Um, with questions but uh, that you have. I don't mind you doing that. We will be having another blog talk radio show next week.
So I will get that planned out. I'm not exactly sure right now the date, but we'll have one next week. I'm hoping by that time that I'll have a couple of people set up with their blogs and maybe I'll have a co-host that will actually want to do that or co-host or, you know, give some information. Or if we can't always find um, co-hosts then um, that want to actually talk about their product, I may also do guest speakers that are going to just come on and they're going to be able to tell us about what they've been doing because we've got some really fabulous people that have been doing online sales and marketing for a very long time and have been very successful at it. So um, I am going to get ready and um, switch gears, get ready for YouTube, that platform, and utilize that to continue to advertise for Fifth Avenue uh, Collection Jewelry. I'm hoping that you have actually enjoyed the show. I hope that you will send me your comments and let me know how it's going for you in your business. I would love for you to be a part of Facebook. Um, You can come by YouTube and you can be a follower on YouTube. You can always follow the blogs. And Oh, the very last thing that I was going to say, and I'm glad before it slipped my mind, linking your website. You can promote your website in many ways, and one of them is by actually submitting your websites to um, uh, links. And so that was the last thing that I was going to be um, mentioning because that's something that I'm going to be doing, again, because the linking is something that you have to do um, consistently. Now, some people will pay into um, programs that will just link you automatically in, you know, automatically. But for me, I like to know that it's there, and if I put it there, then I know that it's there. So I, I'm not, I can't always guarantee that, you know, someone is actually linking for me because it's for me to build my business, so I'm not always looking for others to build my business for me. I'm always looking for things that I can do on my own to build my business. And so we'll be talking about, I will be posting about, so I will post information about submitting um, your website in there too, not a whole lot, just a little tiny bit so that, you know, it's not something that you have to do right now, but it's just something, it's another one of those tools, and I wanted to mention it before I get off because I actually want to put it in the information that you guys will be able to see um, on Blogger. Okay, everyone. My name is Desiree Sims. I am a registered nurse with a bachelor's I am a registered nurse with a bachelor's degree in nursing. Um I am an entrepreneur, have been for a very long time con- and will continue to be one. You guys have a very blessed rest of this Tuesday morning. For those of us in Milwaukee County, it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. Have a great one.